Councillor Heather Smith. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. First of all, can I just remind ourselves why we are where we are? With the, the coalition government, that is Conservatives with the Liberal Democrats over there, have had to pick up a massive debt left behind by a Labour government. <laughs> They left massive And we've had to make some very, very difficult decisions. And I think we ought to have had a bit more support from our Liberal Democrat um, colleagues. But this particular motion that's before us today, I'd like to know who is pulling your strings, Brendan. You know we're not at the end of the cuts, that we still have to find a significant further sum in the following year. There are differences between rural and urban environments. For a start, in a lot of rural environments, people decide not to have any street lights at all. It's a personal choice. In others, they fund them out of a local preset, and it has always been at a much considerably lower level of lighting than has been in, in um, urban locations. This doesn't mean that in rural locations we don't suffer with burglaries, car thefts, antisocial behaviour, but we've all got used to living in an area with a lower level of lighting. Listening to some of the, the way this has been exaggerated in this chamber, anybody would think we'd turned off every light instead of every other light. I walk, I walk my dog at night and I often have to take a torch out with me because it isn't that brightly lit. But I accept that. And I've recently had somebody move into our village who moved out of Peterborough a heavily lit area and she said what a pleasure it was to be able to see the night sky. One thing that has been said is about the PFI. Let's be clear, we couldn't go ahead with replacing the street lights with the number of lights we'd got. By reducing the number of lights in the county, it looks as though we will be able to afford to do it. And not only will we be replacing the lights, we'll be able to fix the paths at the same time. We couldn't do this unless we reduced our annual costs of running the lights. And the amount we save is not just £2 million in one year, it's £2 million in every year. I personally think it's a disgrace the way the Corby Labour Group have been coordinating the complaints, the protests, and the way they protested, and the way they protested at the official opening, we were there to celebrate the opening of an official road scheme in the centre of Corby, a massive, massive investment in the centre of Corby. Were they proud of that? In Wellingborough, when they celebrated their opening, they had a street party. What did they do in Corby? They held a protest rally. Just sum up, Mr. Chairman. If I may just sum up, Mr. Chairman. Please sum up, Thank you. 
Throughout the county, there are different ways of funding streetlights. There isn't any consistent way of doing it. Some parish councils fund them, and in um, Corby, they actually fund the lights in their rural communities. So there are different ways of funding streetlights. And if communities feel that they want a higher level of lighting, then there is a way of them putting extra funding into doing that. Can you mind up now, please? I support people's rights to protest, but the way they are protesting, I don't think they're helping their cause. I'm totally against this motion, which I believe is put forward by the minor opposition, not the major opposition.